This is a short video to show what I've done with my lithium power pack that I'm replacing the batteries that came in the trailer. Uh, it's a little overkill for what I put in it, but basically there's four 3.2 cells. Uh, they are 310 amp hours each. So that gives me 300 amp hours at 12 volts, which should run into a sine wave inverter that is going to give me a little 110, 110, 115 volts to run uh, the air conditioner. Uh, it has an over voltage protection on the output, but that really isn't needed because of the BMS will control that and also the batteries are pretty good about maintaining and discharging voltages. I use it because I've I've got this wire down there, the blue wire, that's going to allow me to switch off the power remotely through the blue box you see there, which is uh, disconnect. Like I say, I probably wouldn't need that, but I have it there. Right there is a shunt that measures the current and the battery voltage and tells me the status of the battery. Uh, going out here is the plug that will plug into the trailer power. I do not need many volts and many, um, excuse me, many amps because uh, the LED lights don't take any power. But there is a few little items that require extra power. The refrigerator runs on it. So basically it's actually oversized compared with what was originally in in the camper. Over here is the leads which I have covered which will go to the inverter which will mount on the other side of this panel there. Anyway it seems to be working. I'm going to replace the cover here and pick it up and haul it back to the trailer. I do have the terminals covered just uh, just to protect in case something drops on them. The red wires you see go to each cell and they go to the BMS here. And, and that kind of equalizes the charge between all the cells. So they're in place and like I say, covered over for the moment. So let's go put it in. I hope it works and so does my wife. Hope that it works because she has told me that many times.